So welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be comparing the two black opal loose powder colors together to see which one is better suitable for darker skin. And I'm pretty sure that black opal is a black owned brand. So I feel like their products are more aimed towards darker women. So we will just see which color is um, more suitable for us. And I am about, um, for MAC, most people like compare their, say their shades for MAC cause because most people have used their foundation. I am about an N45 and W46, and W45 and W46. But I like to use the W46 cause it's a little red tone, a little more red. So, and I feel like I have a red undertone a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see, but in person I feel like it should match me. Look at this glitter on my face, what? Where did that come from? Okay, so this one is the light medium, no, neutral light shade. Boom. And this one is the medium shade. I like this one, but I haven't even used the other one yet, so we will see. So I'm just going to apply my Kat Von D concealer in the color D34, and then I'll be right back to put on the powders. Okay guys, so I just got done blending out that concealer. So now I'm going to take these two powders. So I'm going to dip into the neutral light and with this beauty blender and just go in. And before I um, started filming this, I did actually cream contour before I highlighted with that concealer. So while I let this concealer sit, I am going to go in and set that contour that I did and I um, clean contour using the um, black opal foundation stick in the color black walnut okay and so that we don't mix the two I'm going to dip into the medium shade with this real technique sponge and this one is definitely more orange tone in person it looks yellow but it's more orangey yellow i like it and i'm oh i can't talk and i'm just gonna be more generous with this one because it will fit better on my skin compared to that one. I already know, I'm pretty sure. So you don't have to be too uh careful using this one. Oop, I got it on my eyebrow. Okay, so let's see, just go under a little. I'm gonna get back into the neutral light and just go under. And I'm going to give them a fair shot, so I know that this one is um, lighter. So I'm actually going to just go right in right now with um, this Sephora brush, and I'm just going to dust that away right now because I already know that it will be, if I let it sit there too long, it definitely will turn ashy. So, so we're going to do that. And now I'm going to go in and just set my contour really quickly and we'll wipe this off when I'm done setting my contour. Alrighty guys, so I just set my contour. Let me wipe this off of my eyebrow. Okay, so now I'm just going to go in and wipe away this. And I'm just going to go in with this uh, e.l.f. brush. No, wet and wild powder brush just all right so just dusting it off okay so this is what the two look like right now is there a difference cannot see it an immediate difference right now so I will let these two sit I'm gonna take a picture with the flash 
after I finish my face and I'm just gonna go around and set everything with um, my MAC um, powder just so just to try to avoid the flashback but I will add in a picture with the flash so you guys can see the difference in flash photography and all that so I'll be right back with my final thoughts so I just let them take my pictures I will insert them for you probably you just saw them um so the powder it actually um flashed back quite a lot but I put um some matte powder on top of it in the areas that I put the powder and it toned it down a little bit but it still did um flash back and they looked the same like it's not like one side was flashing back more than the other Probably because I wiped this side off earlier. If I would have left that on, it probably would have been way worse. But um, yeah, so it flashback is a thing. But I love these powders and they are affordable. Ten dollars can't beat it, and it's a nice amount. I took off the um things, you know, when it um only comes out with some powder at a time. You have to like do that. I just like to take it off and just have access to all of the powder. But um, so yeah, if you are gonna wear these, just be aware that um, oh my, that there is flashback. But um, yeah, just be aware. But there are other affordable powders. Like I know the Benai Banana. They have the topaz shade, and I'm sure it's similar to this. I'm actually gonna get that suit, and also the Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier just came out with um, a new shade. It's the medium dark, I believe, um, in their translucent powder. So I'm actually going to get that and then we will we can test that to this one. We can compare those two. But um, yeah, so it's only $10. So you could try it, see if you like it, see if you can get it to work without any flashback or it's just nice. I like I like the finish. It's pretty. It, yeah, I like to have no pores right now. No pores, barely, barely. So um, yeah. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.